Hey guys, we are going to make a simple, easy peasy facial serum. Um, this does not have to be rocket science and it does not have to take you a long time. It's one of the easiest things you can make and um, I'm going to show you how to make it super multifunctional as well. Roger might be making a guest appearance. I hear him coming through right now. There he is, little stinker. Hi, baby. Love you. <laughs> so what you want is a dropper. This is a two ounce dropper, so this is 60 mils. You can use a 15 mil, a 30 mil, whatever you like. I just happen to have these in the studio. And then you're going to get a measuring cup, which I forgot to take out, one second. Okay, <laughs> the magic of television, here it is. And then you need some oils of choice. So um, a base oil that I really love is either grapeseed or sweet almond. Grapeseed is super light, it absorbs quick, quick, it's great for all skin types. And sweet almond oil is very high in vitamin E. It lasts a long time. It's a great antioxidant oil. So antioxidants fight re-radicals, fight aging. Um, and like I said, it's very high in vitamin E, so great for scarring and skin repairing. So as a base, I like to use either grapeseed or almond oil. These are more budget friendly. So you can fill your dropper with mostly that and that in, then add in your more expensive facial oils so that you're not spending a ton. So for this one, I'm going to do about half. So whatever dropper you do, do about half your base oil, so grapeseed or sweet almond. I mean, there's other ones out there that are great, but those are the two of my preference. So I am just going to simply, if you have a funnel, this will be a lot less messy, but I'm just gonna simply put about half sweet almond oil in there. Okay, so whatever bottle you have, fill it half with your base oil. And then you're gonna top it up with some really nice um, facial carrier oils that are meant for skincare. So things like jojoba, like argon, like borage, like sea buckthorn. These ones are fairly more expensive per volume than your basic carriers but you don't need a lot because they pack so much punch in just a little bit. Um, Purdy Natural carries all of these carrier oils that I'm mentioning, mentioning and I'm going to use in this one um, Rose Hip because I love Rose Hip. And let me see what else I have in here. Carrot Seed I wanted to mention as well. So I generally pick two other facial oils that are ex a little bit more expensive to add to this and I do a quarter and a quarter. So I am going to do a quarter of this in rose hip. And you can get creative here. You can do whatever you like. You could do a quarter rose hip and then um, let me just see what's down here. I've got raspberry seed oil so that is amazing for the summer season coming up, it's a great skin protectant. I'm just gonna add a couple drops of that. So, so far, sweet almond oil, um, rose hip, and I'm gonna add in jojoba. Jojoba is amazing. Jojoba is just like your skin sebum. So it kind of tricks your skin into thinking it's its own, if that makes sense, but it is actually a wax and it is amazing at moisturizing, attracting a moisture to the skin and hydrating. So that will be the last oil that I add into this. Okay, let's just put it in there. So we've got sweet almond oil, jojoba, rose hip. I put a touch of raspberry seed oil for the summertime coming up. And then I'm gonna add some vitamin E into this. So when you add vitamin E, you just need like one or two drops. Vitamin E is going to help your serum last longer. It's going to also help with any scarring. It's going to help to soften the skin, but you only need one or two drops. And I will put this recipe just below. 
There's all different oils you can use for different skin types, and I will also put that below in the recipes down here. But this is just a basics on how to make your own facial serum. So whatever bottle you use, do half your base carrier, that's a little bit more budget friendly, and then split the other half into your favorite, more expensive, luxurious facial oils, like jojoba is one I love, rosehip, argon, um, and again, Pretty Natural has all this stuff. Finish off with a couple drops of vitamin E to, um, it's like a natural preservative to, to ensure that your facial serum lasts a little bit longer. And then you can add the essential oils that you like. So um, in this two ounce, so this is 60 mils, I would do about like 20 drops in total. So whatever volume you do, you just kind of do the math on that. But my favorites are Rose. I love Rose essential oil. Um, it is, I have drier skin, so it's super hydrating. It is beautiful at revitalizing the skin. Any floral essential oil is. So I would love to mix this one with rose, patchouli. Patchouli is very grounding. That's great at rebalancing acne or oily skin. So if you have combo skin or oily skin, use a little bit of patchouli in there. If you have dry skin, go towards the ends of florals. And um, that's about it. I wanted to also mention that the facial serum can also be used as an oil cleanser. So you can do two things with one, save a lot of money, save a lot of time, uh, treat your skin good, and oil attracts oil, so yes, it is safe to wash your face with oil, yes, it is safe to moisturize with oil, you will not break out as long as you are using the right oils, um, which are the ones that I mentioned. Of course, there's more out there, but stick to the ones that are meant for your face. Don't always buy the cheapest ones like coconut oil. I would not use that for a facial moisturizer or a facial cleanser. It clogs pores big time, so stay away from that. But have fun. Let me know what combos you come up with and some other things that you have tried and you love. And I'll throw the recipes down below for you. And let me know what essential oil combos are your fave. Thank you for joining.